This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two. Arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight, Chief. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the curtain. They are propelled by these fans. Ooh, what a punch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, collar tie. Straight punch lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back and forth we go! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Anderson gets the takedown. Useful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Close guard. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this. Oh! oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. There, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's trying to double up on that jab. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice. Wild swing there. All right, single collar tie now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Relax, relax, keep your hands. How about that shin? A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. 
it is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit them with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Beautiful kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. And just misses with that big right hand. Right punches there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands. Ooh. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, working inside the closed guard now. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. The game of inches right I'm there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice punch by Anderson. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Wow. Get those combinations going. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Right hand punch from the clinch. Just out of range with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. He got defended, as you would expect him to. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Choi gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Boom! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big kick lands. I mean, he's cutting him down the side. Beautiful leg kick. Effective punch there by Choi. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Missed with that attempt. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Lands with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every oh. time. All right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get it down. There. Persistence aids. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the floor? Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 
Anderson's got the full mouth. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Beautiful takedown lane. Anderson gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head of the clinch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Anderson's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Single collar tie now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Wow! Together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, that's a good right hand. Boy, Ty Plump. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Final seconds. Oh! He's hurt back. What a fight so far. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio. He's hurt. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he... Oh! Anderson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of it? Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! He wiped him out! Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position.